With a signal map of the outside of your home, you'll know which side of the house has the strongest signal. Install your antenna on this side of the house. Install it as high as you can, and if at all possible, on the roof. This gets it up high and above any obstructions between you and the cell tower. Your booster will come with one of these two types of antennas, an omnidirectional antenna or a directional antenna. An omni or omnidirectional antenna sends and receives signal from all sides, 360 degrees around it. A directional antenna allows you to aim the antenna at a cell tower for a more precise connection. Find an existing vent pipe, or if needed, you can use the optional pole mounting kit to attach the booster to the eaves of the house. Place a U-bracket around the pole and through the holes on the bracket. Tighten the nut securely. If you're installing a directional antenna, make sure your antenna is facing in the direction of the nearest cell tower for your carrier. If you're installing an Omni antenna, there's no need to aim it. Not sure where to aim your antenna, or you can't see any cell towers? Check out this video to learn how to locate your nearest cell tower. When aiming your antenna, install it on the edge of the roof line and facing away from the house. Don't point the antenna across the roof. This will make setup of your inside antenna much easier. We'll go into that later. If you're unable to install the outside antenna on the roof, then you can install it in the attic, on an inside wall, or on a window facing towards the cell tower. As you move further down into the house and introduce more obstructions like walls and windows between the outside antenna and the cell tower, your signal will be affected. More obstructions means less signal getting to the booster and therefore less coverage area inside. Attach the cable to your antenna and we're ready to run the cable into the house. Click here when you're ready to move on to the next step.